Glacial Lake Cranberries started more than 100 years ago, and with time comes a fair share of ups and downs. It just nosedived. It was just not unlike a lot of other farms and agricultural stories. I had to rethink, you know, what is really important, you know, and is it, you know, at that time I could have made decisions, I could have sold the place, I could have, you know, done any number, sold off parts of the property, whatever, but it was really important that I figure out a way to keep it all together. Mary came up with several solutions, like turning the mess hall into a visitor center. We started doing tours and and um, trying to get income that way um, with the things sharing what we knew and could do and to try to float the boat and make another interest payment, which, um, you know, that all helps. But many wondered why she'd want the public out here. People have no idea where their food comes from, and especially cranberries. It's not something that you buy at the nursery or grow in your backyard. And so it was really important for me to um, be able to share that. And, um, you know, that became part of my mission. Part of my is just educating people as to what it's really about, because there's a lot of misunderstanding um, about a lot of agriculture. Agritourism helped for a while, but selling cranberries, like everyone else, just wasn't working. The way the industry was going wasn't helping me and um, helping me grow and or the company. Um, we weren't getting paid. We were getting paid a third of the cost of production. That's not sustainable. That's when she realized most cranberries are processed and sold as juice or sauce rather than just natural berries. And I'm like wondering, why isn't this done? And well, it can't be done, they said. People were saying, it can't be done, it can't be done, or otherwise it would have been done. And I'm like, we put people on the moon, you know, we, we can figure out how to do this somehow. And so I did, um, uh, with the help of uh, Stephen and, and family, and we figured it out. They commercialized it, and honestly, Cranberry became their new company. So we're drying cranberries with no added anything. We're giving people an option in the, in the world out there, allowing people to have a product that they can truly taste the cranberry and get the health benefit of cranberry is... Um, become my mission now. Check out Honestly Cranberry to experience the true tart taste of cranberries year-round.